in LabVIEW, error terminals are a cluster of a numeric which shows you the code of the error or warning, a boolean which shows whether an error has occurred or not and a status text box which shows you the location of the error and some text describing the error. Uh, error clusters and error wires are used for propagating errors through your project VIs and LabVIEW's own functions. One use for error wires and error clusters and error terminals is to enforce a sequence between different components of your code. In this video, we will see how we can use error clusters in LabVIEW. So let's go and create a new project for our error terminal example code. Blank project is fine. Click finish. Let's save this project. Let's create a new folder. Let's call it using error terminals. Let's go inside and use the same name for the project. Let's create a VI for our project. Let's create its front panel. Let's place some error clusters. Error in. and error out. Let's line their tops. Next place, let's place a uh, numeric control. Let's copy it and make another one. Let's place a numeric indicator as well. Let's connect the connector panes. Since we will be using this VI as a sub VI for demonstrating error handling. Let's create an icon. Let's clear this default icon. Let's create a border and a simple text for adding. Let's save it. Let's go and build the block diagram. All we will, we will be doing is adding two numbers. So let's add. And we will be just passing these error wires through. Let's clean up the block diagram and save it and 
as uh, sub vi so let's finalize this vi uh, connect the error clusters and then we will be we are done with this vi let's close it and save it let's create a new vi which will be calling this vi let's call it main Let's save it. Let's write config files, any files. Let's create a control for error next we will be using uh, this uh, projects folder to write a file build path Let's call it um, error dot ini. Let's pass this path to this vi configuration file path. Next, we will be writing a key. Write key. passing the reference to the any file we will create a section let's call it um, result let's create a key let's call it um, addition now we will be using our sub vi let's drag it this sub vi let's connect its error wires and we are using error wires so that after the config file is created we will do our addition and then we write this these values let's pass it some constants let's say four and six next we will be close config data file pass the reference to the any file and the error clusters let's create error out create an indicator and let's clean up our code so we are uh, done with coding this vi So let's go and test our code. Let's run the VI. Let me turn on execution highlighting. So the path is created, a new file is created, addition is done, file is written, and the code is closed. Let's, let's go and see if the uh, folder contains our any file. Any file is created. Let's open it. And here is our addition result. So let's close it and rerun our VI with a let's say a different value. Let's change it to let's say 9. 15 should be written now. 
let's run the code let's go back and check any file yes result is return and vi working perfectly